hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video we will see the classification of hazardous waste in the previous uh, video we have seen the introduction of the hazardous waste in so in this session we will learn the classification of hazardous waste so so the classifications of hazardous waste are divided into three first according to the state of existence second according to contents and according to nature so according to the uh, state of existence it is solid waste liquid waste and gaseous waste coming on to the content it is organic inorganic and biomedical and the last according to nature it is persistence and non persistence so let us uh, see according to the state of existence so according to the state of existence there are three kinds of uh, uh, state the, that they are solid liquid and gas so in solid so the solid uh, we can say hazardous waste that are comes that uh, are produced by the uh, industry and products and uh, ends up to the solid waste municipal solid waste mining metallurgy and industries and plastic batteries etc the sludge from the wastewater heavy uh, all heavy metals are most in the uh, uh, solid form so the solid are generally form is from form from the uh, industrial and pot products coming on to the second which is liquid uh, uh, waste we can say so the wastewater that comes from the uh, we can say chemical plants uh, and uh, the treatment plants and the chemical industries the oil petroleum uh, oil petroleum industries have toxic metals like as cd ba cr pb and zn so uh, and the gas so urban air, urban air contains toxic uh, chemicals like co sox nox pm hydrocarbons and uh, heavy metals lead and organic compounds so uh, the urban air which uh, contains the toxic chemical are also harmful to the uh, uh, to the nature as well as to the human uh, human and animal life so uh, coming on to the uh, content so according to content there are three kinds first it is the organic waste then inorganic hazardous waste and biomedical waste so coming on to the organic so the organic uh, we can say uh, organic aqueous waste and uh, we can say organic liquid waste so there are there are two types and coming on to the inorganic so the in 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 the inorganic waste it is uh, inorganic aqueous waste and inorganic sludges or we can say solids uh, coming on to the biomedical as we all know the biomedical waste are the waste which comes from the hospitals clinics uh, then the uh, uh, then we can say uh, laboratories as well as uh, as well as veterinary cl uh, cl clinics so it includes the toxic chemicals uh, like we can say radioactive waste and uh, pathological waste etc now coming on to the uh, nature now according to the nature there are two kinds of uh, uh, we can say waste the, they are persistence and non persistence talking about the persistence we can say it is also known as persistence organic uh, pollutions we can say so it is pop then the persistence uh, we can say the persistence uh, waste is that that remains in the environment for the longer time and uh, do not confirm the or uh, we can say confirm to the place of the origin or disposal and it it transports very long distance so persistence waste uh, transport very long distance and travel in very low concentration in water and they are highly toxic very stable once formed and uh, they are uh, very uh, they are resist photolytic ch chemical and uh, biological degradation human exposed to uh, this uh, kind of uh, waste or we can say persistence chemicals could develop cancer and uh, 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 liver di disease so if if this uh, humans are exposed to this kind of uh, uh, persistence liquid uh, chemicals they can form a uh, they can have the cancer or liver disease now coming on to the uh, non persistence so the non persistence uh, they are uh, uh, we can say those chemicals are only for a period of time uh, only uh, release uh, while released so uh, 
talking about non persistent the these uh, this kind of chemicals are for uh, for a period of time only when after released in the environment coming on to the second uh, this chemical tends to have a more immediate uh, toxic action uh, than the persistence chemical so uh, non persistence chemical are very toxic uh, and they tends to uh, immediate as as compared to the uh, persistence chemical then this chemical tends to affect human cause poisoning within a few hours after contact they are very very uh, we can say they are very uh, effective that it it uh, catches the uh, human or we can say it it it, it becomes the contact between the uh, human life within uh, within a few hours uh, after contact so uh, here uh, here are some of the example of persistence and non persistence hazardous waste so persistence include pcb then ddt and cfc and the example for the non persistence uh, hazardous waste we can say organophosphates and uh, chlorinated hydrocarbon so here uh, we have seen the classification of hazardous waste as per uh, uh, as, uh, as per the state of existence which are solid liquid and gas second we have seen according to the content organic inorganic and biomedical and third we have seen according to nature which is persistence and non persistence so here we have completed with the uh, classification of the hazardous waste thanks for watching